Hey, it's Mazzy. So yesterday, September 4th, was the 60th anniversary of the recording of Love Me Do, and I, I posted a still here on my uh, channel, a still, and on Instagram, Ma um, Mazzy's Music on Instagram, of a reissue, the Black Label Parlophone. Now, I got called out because I didn't include the original Red Label Parlophone. Now, I don't have an original, I know, strange, uh, UK single of Love Me Do. I do have, and I'm gonna look for it here, I have this bin, I have a cut, I have two bins of Beetle 45s, and unfortunately they're not as organized as I usually am, they're not in order. So I'm gonna go through these a little bit, but I didn't show the correct one, but I do have the reissue, that there was a 50th, I believe, anniversary of Love Me Do, that is a recreation. I don't know where it is in this, maybe we'll come across it, maybe not. But I thought I'd just pull out a few Beatles singles. I think here are mostly US, the other bin, we'll see how that goes. Uh, October, in October of this, of 62, the single was released. It went to number 17 uh, on the UK charts. Uh, I'm not a fan. I think Love Me Do is a terrible song. Uh, and I, you know, of course it's the Beatles and it's enjoyable, but it's, it's probably their weakest single in my opinion. But let's just go through some of these singles I have, picture sleeves. Uh, here's an Atco, Ain't She Sweet. Uh, Lennon's voice on this is great. This is when uh, Atco, I had two copies of this, uh, with Tony Sheridan. It was uh, Tony Sheridan, the Beat Brothers. Oh, we got two different singles here. We got Take Some Insurance on Me Baby and Sweet Georgia Brown. I have like two slipped in here and Nobody's Child and of course Ain't She Sweet on Atco. Uh, this is the original American edition on Atco. Obviously, um, many, some of you may or may not know, Capital passed on the Beatles the first time around. Uh, here is Twist and Shout on Tolly, another label that put out uh, Beatles records before Capital. And There's a Place. I always love There's a Place. Oh, God, that's a great song. Okay, again, not in any order. Here's a copy of uh, Help, Picture Sleeve of Help, and I'm Down. Oh, Please Please Me. Uh, this is the VJ single, Please Please Me. VJ just repackaged everything. Why Why not, you know? I mean, capital pass, and for me to you. Please Please Me is such a great song. That's their number one, first number one in the UK. Uh, and I Love Her. If I Fell, Eight Days a Week, I Don't Want to Spoil the Party. Now, EPs were not big in the U.S., but Capital did do, and VJ actually, both did a few EPs. And this is um, 4x4, Honey Don't, I'm a Loser, Mr. Moonlight, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. That is uh, the actual EP, which is like a 45. Uh, here is... Uh, the Souvenir of Their Visit to America, another repackaging as an EP, uh, VJ, four songs from VJ, Misery, Taste of Honey, Ask Me Why, and Anna, uh, Arthur Alexandra uh, song, Anna. What a great song. Of course, this is what started all for me and many uh, young Americans of my generation. I want to hold your hand. This single, this is the actual single, the first thing I got before Meet the Beatles. This is since 1964, 58-year-old single, which I'm gonna play later. And look at this picture sleeve, a little worn, but I mean, again, not bad for 60 years, a little uh, torn there, but 60, oh, God. This literally changed my life, okay? Changed my life. Here's another copy, a later, a little later edition, but it's very clean. Uh, she Loves You. This is the Swan, Swan Records. Someone took a piece out of this. I don't, this is my original, but um, this is a, <clears throat> I'll cry instead, I'm happy just to dance with you. I don't know why there's a piece out of it. I don't know. Now, maybe this is my original. I don't know. <laughs> Someone hold your hand, another, another version, so. Or maybe this is, 
Or maybe this, oh, these are later press. This is a later, this is a later one. And there's two in here. Boy, something need to weed these out and see if maybe sell them on the bootleg market now. Okay, this is fun. This is United Artists, George Martin and his orchestra. Ringo's theme, this boy, of course, from Hard Day's Night, and and I Love Her. And of course, there is a jukebox card for it. It's funny that it says the Beatles, and it's Ringo's theme, this boy, and I love her. <laughs> and you're going to put this on in a jukebox, and you can hear the George Martin sort of big band version and not the Beatles version. Okay. Oh, Murray the K and the Beatles, Fairway Records. <clears throat> As it happened, this is obviously a Murray the K chat with the Beatles. Uh, Open-ended interview. This is kind of fun. Um, this is a later promo. I don't remember when this came out now. This might be a repress of a, a radio promo that Capital Center Radio Stations. It's basically an open-ended interview, and you recreate, like every local DJ will say their bit, and the Beatles will answer. So I, sh I guess you do this sometime. I could ask and the Beatles will answer me. Wouldn't you like the conversation? How about a Mazzy Beatle interview? I, now that would be the biggest, greatest clickbait. <laughs> Lost tape, just discovered in a sock drawer. Mazzy interviews the Beatles. Open-ended interview with the Beatles. Um, okay, we got, day, this is one of the greatest singles ever, Day Tripper, and, and uh, we can work it out. We can work it out as one of my all-time favorite Beatles songs. Another, I mean, they had a, a great series of singles around 65, 66. Pairback Rider in Rain, of course, one of the, I remember after school in sixth grade, walking to uh, the record store, the music store, and buying this and bringing it home and, and just after school playing it while I was doing math homework. It's weird how you remember shit like that, right? Okay, Hey Jude and Revolution, this is how it came. The first Apple single, the first single on Apple, seven minutes, 11 sec seconds, uh, is uh, Hey Jude, one of the longest singles. We got another uh, four by four, we got another EP on Capital. Love Me Do, PSI Love You on, uh, is this VJ? Yeah, oh, Tolly, this is the Tolly one, sorry. Slow Down and Matchbox. Rock and roll, that's from the Ed Sullivan show. The, in this country, the photograph was used on the Something New album. Yesterday, Act Naturally. Eight days a week, I don't want to spoil the party. Uh, yes, it is. And Take It to Ride. I Feel Fine, She's a Woman. Of course, these are the uh, capital dexterization mixes. Dexterization that a lot of people around the world think we, you know, we cheaped out, it was all for the money, but you know, I actually like the reverb on the beginning of um, She's a Woman on this version better than their dry version for some reason. Just It's just fucking great. And I feel fine, you know, the greatest, uh, the first, supposedly first feedback on a guitar. Let it be, you know my name, look up the number, great fun single, a long and winding road, and for you blue. Hard Day's Night, I should know better. No more man, what goes on? Okay. Hello, goodbye, and I'm the walrus. So tough. Old Brown Shoe and uh, the Ballad of John and Yoko. That's great just to hear John and Paul playing together without the other two Beatles. And Paul's plays drums on that. I love the bass playing. I love, was the third verse where McCartney comes in with the harmony. Uh, that's a great single. That's just a great, a great, Love story single. Lady Madonna, Inner Light. One of the greatest singles, literally, of all time in the history of the planet Earth and probably beyond into the Pleiades and the, of the universe, the extended astroverse, vinyl verse, is Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. This, this, this should hang in the Louvre. This should hang in the British Museum. This should hang in, th this is the ultimate single, double A side, Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields. You know, the best songs, no, but a great 45. Of course, Baby a Rich Man. I love the bass. The, 
If you listen to Paul's bass playing, I even like the what is the Yellow Submarine song track remix. Uh, the bass playing on it, oh, it's so good. Yellow Submarine, Elmer Rigby. Another copy. Oh, I have some multiples of some of these. No, I'm not selling them here. This is not what this is about. Um, let's see. Let me. Uh, do you want to know a secret? Thank you, girl. That is a VJ. Let's see here. Uh, this is fun. This is a fun picture. This is a uh, a Christmas picture sleeve. They just basically put the single out yet again <laughs> with a Christmas picture sleeve to make you buy it. This is VJ, and this is sort of a generic Beatles Christmas with the Please Please Me and From Me to You. Look at that. Isn't that great? Uh, as I, let's see, did, 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 let me go through there. Now, this is the one I think that never came out. It's a picture sleeve. This is during the uh, Love Songs album, as I recall, right? Someone at now there, someone, you guys remember all this stuff. I used to remember all this stuff to the T, and I, I just don't remember the details. As I recall, this was about to come out as a single when Love Songs came out, and they printed the picture sleeves but never released it. Girl, and you're going to lose that girl. Uh, so it's kind of fun having it just for that. These are later ones, obviously, Got to Get You In My Life, became a single in the 70s again. Uh, well, for the first time, around the time where that shitty Peter Frampton Bee Gees uh, thing happened. But but Got To Get In Your Life, there was a great version around that time by Earth, Wind & Fire. Uh, this is the, you know, they got back together, Free As A Bird and Real Love. But let me see if I can, there's a lot of like the later issues of Beatles songs, but that's not what I want to, they reissued, I want to hold your hand. And, um, um, oh, this is uh, the reason the Beatles are um, more popular and better than Kraftwerk. And uh, the Kraftwerk uh, ripped off the Beatles. This is a, <laughs> a reissue of Come Give Me Down Ham and Say Libdech. So the Beatles, and I have a, a, a Kraftwerk uh, all the times Kraftwerk ripped off the Beatles video coming later this week for you who are interested. But uh, the Beatles made records in German way before Kraftwerk made records in German. So just, that's a fact. Remember that, Jack. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. Who we got? I need to go to the other bin maybe. There's some bootleg singles. Uh, here's a, oh, there's a Swan. I'll get you Swan Records. And she loves you on Swan. That's, it, it's always interesting. You know, I, I used to know all the details about this stuff and I really don't know it anymore or I forgot. Oldies, oldies, oldies. I know you want to see this, but I'm just kind of flipping through. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is the later uh, anniversary edition of uh, the Beatles, Baby It's You. This is an EP. I forgot when this came out. All in the mono. Um, there's a lot of, okay, Beatles, 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 Beatles. Be right back. Okay, I'm in bin two here. I'm not gonna go through all these. I have a bunch of reissue singles, but these are fun. Look at these are, these are sort of a uh, gray market because they were Russian. When Rush, when the Soviet Union could not put out Beatle uh, records legally, but, uh, these are uh, Beatle 45s. Melodia, Russian Melodia record label. But they're kind of fun to have, right? Picture sleeves. Uh, I could figure that I don't speak Russian anymore. Not that I ever did. My father did. He actually served on Croatian, but a lot of Russian as well. Kind of fun to show, right? Pictures like Russian. Yeah, we don't know, want no Beatles in our country. Couldn't up scroll. Drabama news, Beatle, you Beatle fanatic. Can't even do accents here. But it's great to have these records. I just got to love You know, I would swap up any Beatles stuff. Uh, so this is a very casual. Here's an a early Parlophone. Uh, paperback Rider in Rain. Parlophone. Uh, but I don't want to show those. There's bootlegs. Another time for these. Uh, let's see. Another time for these. Da, 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 da. I also have all the picture sleeves and everything for the uh, 
the solo stuff, but I don't want to go through those right now. That's a different Ringo. Ringo. Okay, we're getting into the solo stuff now, so I think I need to stop there. Uh, oh, great single, Back Off Boogaloo Ringo. We'll do that another time. Uh, but that gives you a little taste of, oh, of course, the great EP. I mean, I have the whole EP collection. I have originals. I have reissues. Um, you know, in the UK, all the people that are from the UK obviously know this, but all the Americans, the newer newer fans don't know that. Imagine Miss Joy, the songs from the motion picture, from the film, from the debacle, only came out as an EP originally. And an America capital, uh, to their credit, put out it, put it out as uh, a full album with the singles uh, on side B, Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, Baby a Rich Man, All You Need Is Love, made that a fantastic album, probably the Beatles' best uh, psychedelic record. So uh, that's it. So Love Me Do, 60 years recording that, that song, Love, Love Me Do. Not the greatest song, but it was, it's a start. You got to start somewhere, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. This is a very, this is just a loose, spontaneous, early, early morning video. I'm recording this at like six in the morning, uh, the day after the 60th anniversary of Love Me Do was recorded. I did not find that reissue. Um, if I do, I'll tack it on at the very end here. Uh, but Mazzy loves you. Thanks for watching.